Hello everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Let us talk about Python closures. So for this, we should know what are functions and what are nested functions. We have talked about them earlier. So let us talk about them again. This is the outer enclosing function. Define, let me define a child function, inner function, which takes no variables. This is the inner function. Print f text. So child function takes the variable from the parent function. The parent function finally returns the child function or runs the child function, not returns runs the child function. If I do parent child, what happens? Well, it returns child. If I do parent, hello, it says hello. So whatever I do type here, it returns. It is as good as we writing parent um, text or x return x right and then i say parent hi returns hi right but here as you can see it's in quotes so anyway let us now convert this to closure so i will remove the parenthesis i will type return so it is returning the child function instead of running the child function. I have added return, removed parenthesis. Let me run parent here, parent child. It returns the function, not the value. So what should I do to run it? I have to add the missing parenthesis here and it works. You can also do like this and then do this. That will work too. So when the main parent function, instead of running the child function, return the child function itself, we can now access the child function outside the scope of the parent. What if I take this and put parenthesis to it? Then if I do parent, child, so it runs the child function instead of returning it. So whenever you call a function without parenthesis, it gives you the function. But when you call a function with parenthesis, it runs the function, right? So a closure function should be returned with the parenthesis. Shift enter. Let's take this again and remove this the right way of doing it child is parent i will say hello then i will run child it returns the function and if i do this it runs the function but now i will do something interesting i will delete the parent function delete the parent function and then run child, still I have the child function available for me to use. So if I run child like this, it still works, right? So let us define another function. Define adder x comma y. 
return x plus y. I will say adder two comma three adder five comma two adder five comma five and that returned seven. Now as you can see I have to pass all variables at once. What if I have to pass one variable first and then other variables later? How shall we do that? Define adder x and define summer go to y return x plus y and then return summer adder 5 right it returns the child function I can do adder 5 and then give the second variable now I give the first variable here second variable here so again so 5 let me put 5 again here we go so that works perfectly right or you can also do add is error 5 and you can do add 5 10 add 9 14 I think that is all I had for closures thank you for tuning in you have a great one